Now to the impeachment inquiry in Washington, where House Democrats are trading angry charges with Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. Democrats say the secretary could be involved in a, quote, blatant cover-up and a clear abuse of power after Pompeo accused them of trying to intimidate State Department officials into testifying. Sources tell CBS News a former State Department official and a former ambassador have agreed to testify. A short time ago, Pompeo confirmed he listened in on President Trump's July 25th phone call to Ukraine's president that triggered the impeachment probe. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill. Nancy, what else did the secretary have to say? Well, it's a bit of a mystery, Tony. All staffers here have been told is that they're going to be shown documents related to Ukraine, but they don't know whether these are documents that are going to help the president's case or hurt it. It comes amidst a huge clash between the State Department and Congress over evidence and witnesses. What we objected to was the uh, demands that were put that are deeply violate fundamental principles of separation of powers. Secretary Pompeo broke his silence about his role in a call between Ukraine's president and President Trump. And he accused Democrats of pressuring State Department officials to testify right away. We will, of course, do our constitutional duty to cooperate with uh, this co-equal branch. Uh, but we are going to do so in a way that is consistent with the fundamental values of the American system. Overnight, Democrats railed against Secretary of State Mike Pompeo after he said top officials needed more time to prepare for congressional interviews. It's essentially saying uh, don't snitch, and that's just not how we do things in, in our government. In a blistering letter, Pompeo accused Democratic leaders of trying to bully State Department officials into sitting for depositions. House Democrats fired back that Pompeo may now be a fact witness in the impeachment inquiry and that any attempt to prevent witnesses from testifying might indicate that he is trying to cover up illicit activity. The, the State Department's people could cooperate. They could come in immediately. State Department Inspector General Steve Linick emailed multiple congressional committees saying he wants to discuss and provide staff with copies of documents related to the State Department and Ukraine. The briefing comes just two days after CBS News and other outlets confirmed that Pompeo was on the call, where President Trump asked the president of Ukraine to investigate his campaign rival Joe Biden and his son. The president's allies slammed the congressional probe as a coup and a trap. They're putting them through really an impeachment mockery. We may not know exactly what the State Department's inspector general plans to share with Congress today, but we do know that his job is to root out mismanagement and wrongdoing at the department. So that could be a clue. Steve Linick has been in the job, Gail, since 2013. He has a lot of autonomy, and he doesn't need the secretary's permission to come to Capitol Hill to brief Congress. Should be a very interesting appearance. But, Nancy, let's talk about this. The president's personal attorney has now hired an attorney, as you know, Rudy Giuliani, hired former Watergate prosecutor John Sale to represent him in this impeachment inquiry. So what have you heard about their strategy on this? Well, Giuliani uh, said last night on Fox that he's going on the offensive. He's thinking about filing lawsuits against House Democrats after he was subpoenaed for documents stretching back two and a half years. And he particularly singled out House Intelligence Chairman Adam Schiff. He said that what he's being subjected to is, quote, worse than McCarthy Gale. All right, Nancy, thank you very much.